morning, Zachary. How you doing, buddy? You like riding in the truck? Oh, it's honking, ain't it? Whee! <laughs> okay, today's a big day around the hot rod garage. A lot of y'all over the last few years have said to me, Pete, you need yourself a torch. And I said, yeah, I need myself a torch. I wish I had one, but I don't. Well, honey baby asked me what I wanted for my birthday. I got a birthday coming up this month. She said, oh, honey baby, what do you want for your birthday? And I said, I think I'd like to have a torch. So she said, well, I'll give you some cash. You go out and find one and buy it. So she did. I went over and talked to Mike about it because I was looking for a used one. I sort of wanted to get a whole set up with the bottles and everything, but I couldn't find one. And uh, he was talking about a lot of the junkers around here use propane cut with propane and oxygen. And I got to looking into what it would take to get a set of torches and convert them over. And then I, I stumbled across these Smith torches that are actually made to burn propane. Propane's a heck of a lot cheaper than acetylene, and you can get it right at the local store there. Same place to get my heating oil. I mean, my, my heating propane. In fact, it's the same thing. Run it right off the gas bottle from the barbecue grills. I said to myself, "Yeah, that sounds like a good idea to me." So. I ordered me up a set of them babes. I'm on the way to town today to get us a bottle of acetylene, so I mean a bottle of oxygen, so that when them torches come, I can hook them up and throw a little fire around the garage. Oh, don't that be good? That'll be honking. We're really looking forward to it, ain't we, Zachary? So anyway, that's what we're about this morning. I'm gonna go gather up that bottle of oxygen just so I'll have it. Then I'm gonna go home and sand on that coke cabinet a while. And uh, heck, if we get that thing smoothed out enough, we might even squirt a little paint on there. Oh, won't that be good? Get that thing back in the kitchen and get her all painted up. She's just gonna look honking. So anyway, there's all that. Y'all have a nice day. I'm gonna get both hands on the wheel. Somebody's just blinking their light at me, which tells me there's a cop here. Look at there. There's a cop. See him? See him? There he is. He's right there. Hello, Mr. Police Officer. I ain't speeding on this. Cross my heart. Look at Zach. Oh, Zach has got a bead on him. Look at him. Oh, yeah, he's getting right in his sights. Woohoo! Woohoo! Glad you spotted him, Zachary. You better than bird dog. Yeehaw! I guess I could talk some more about this year while we're out riding around. They say we're supposed to get four or five inches of snow this season. Oh, not that be fun, Zachy? Gone all winter long with hardly any snow, and now we're supposed to get a little bit. I don't know if it's worthwhile to throw that plow on that Jeep or not, you know? I've hooked that plow up several times, and then the snow comes and then melts away before I get to push any around. Of course, that might be why, it's, you know, it might be why we're having this kind of winters. I think the snow might be scared of my plow. That's what I think. Ah, excuse me. Yeah, I've had a lot of people say that. You know, you went out and got yourself a plow and, and all that snow come across there and they say, oh no, he's got a plow. Let's go the other way. Woohoo! And that's probably what's been going on. So that's what I think anyway. What do you think, Zachy? Well, I'm glad you agree with me, buddy. Okay, I'll stop talking now. Okay, then we've got our fresh new bottle of oxygen back there. We need to pick me up a little bit more welder gas while I was out, so I was getting a little low on that. So, heck, we're, we're ready to do some serious damage with some metal work. Ooh, doggies! <laughs>